everybody, it's Jackie Hyde right here. I'm at the Panam Games in Chile. It's quite cold here, but you know, at least I'm motivated. I'm motivated and ready to do my best and to bring up the moment of my Hey trackers, welcome back to another video here on TXT Track Time. Please remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Please also head on over to our Instagram page that is TXT Track Time and give us a follow there as well. The link will be in the description. Alright, so trackers, we're gonna start with the great news, the awesome news, the fantastic news. You saw the video at the beginning, trackies. Yes, Jahil Hyde, our very own Jahil Hyde, Jamaican, walks away with gold at the pan american games in the men's 400 meter hurdles whoop, whoop. of course congratulations are in effect for jaheel Hyde on winning jamaica's first gold medal at the pan american games now track is he won the men's 400 meter hurdles in a time of 49.19 seconds behind him from brazil was matthew lima he ran 49.69 seconds and in third place from cuba was yeo elas he ran 49 9.74 seconds now track is i'm excited i'm thrilled i'm over the moon that jahil hyde walked away with this gold medal now i did say it's jamaica's first gold medal yes shockingly for many it is jamaica's first gold medal however track is in light of the time of the year track is not much was expected i have to admit from our athletes heading into this event because literally they're on their last tethers however we've had garnered so far two bronze medals from the likes of frederick dacos in the men's discus throw and of course samantha hall also in the discus throw garnering two medals for jamaica two of the bronze variety however track is we have yet to receive a gold until today and it comes from jahil Hi, so of course congratulations are in effect for him and of course we are 100% excited and stoked literally at the end of the season track is he still managed to pull off a 49.19 seconds now going in I did believe it was within his capabilities to win however as I said the time of the year it was very tricky so I had to see what was left in his legs first so track is watching that men's 400 meter hurdle semi-final I said yes he definitely has it he has it in the bag he just has to go up and execute and that gold medal is his and so said so done track is jaheel hyde comes out and he executes a big run track is and walks away with a magnificent win for jamaica in a time of 49.19 seconds so of course track is i'm over the moon i'm excited i'm thrilled i'm cheering and i'm jumping for joy now it's time for you all to tell me how you feel in the comment section below jaheel hyde walks away with this gold medal don't bother underestimate the thing you know don't bother underestimate made the thing literally jahil is on his last tethers literally it's the beginning of the 2024 season and he's still competing in the 2023 season that just tells you how amazing his effort is and he managed to pull off gold in a phenomenal time 49.19 seconds can't wait to see what he has to offer in 2024 but still tell me what you think about this gold medal from jahil hyde in the comment section below all right so track is moving on to our next story and this is a story that i'm not excited about at all it has definitely made me very sad i've said time and time again when it comes to athletes and positive tests it's not something i enjoy talking about because again the athletes are human and sometimes we tend to pick them apart and again we don't really understand the circumstances of the situation so i genuinely don't like talking about it however considering that i run txt track time i pretty much have to talk about it so earlier this morning i brought this story here on txt track time that a Allegedly, Rana Levy, our 110 meter hurdler, bronze medalist from the Olympic Games in 2021, had tested positive for a banned substance. Based on the information I read from Sportsmax, everything indicated that they were speaking about one particular athlete in question. Based on the achievements, they were definitely talking about Rana Levy. Those particular set of achievements only matched one particular Jamaican hurdler. So, Jack, is with that said, I did say in my video that it seems as though that. This is about Ronald Levy allegedly. Well, track is Ronald Levy has come out to speak. Now he took to his Instagram page and this is what he had to say. Earlier last month, I was tested out of season. 
I expected to be negative on that test like I have been on every test I have ever taken throughout my career. I was surprised to receive a letter on Tuesday, November the 2nd by the Jamaica Anti-Doping Commission of an adverse analytic finding. Jackies, that was literally yesterday. I'm shocked. I have decided to take the option to have my B sample tested, of which I await the results. I am stunned at the turn of events because I have always conducted myself with the highest level of integrity in the sport, which I love dearly and would never seek to gain an unfair advantage. I intend to defend my integrity during this process because I am certain I did not knowingly breach the rules. Out of respect for the process, I will not comment further until the process is concluded all right so track is that is what ronald levy had to say and out of respect for ronald levy and this process as well i will not comment further until this process is concluded why because i'm also shocked track is that he received this letter yesterday now after i did my story i did come to find out that it was something very recent however track is i had no idea it was this recent and it's interesting to me that this information was released to the media and as such they divulged it to the public and in turn of course clearly i divulged it to you all track is but typically check is there is a process to follow before this information is divulged. So I'm actually very shocked that he received this letter yesterday and literally it was hot on the press this morning. So it seems as though not much consideration was taken for Ronald Levy. And I'm not going to lie in my video as well track is where I name dropped Ronald. I didn't consider him that much as well, which is why I'm saying I will not comment further until the process is concluded. Now I know there is conjecture out there track is as it relates to why he tested positive. Positive. however at this particular moment his b sample has yet to be tested so that could very well come back negative trackies and this is all she wrote and we'll never hear anything about it for the rest of our days however in the event trackies he does test positive the b sample then he will have his hearing and at that particular point that information that he shares with them as it relates to why he would have tested positive trackies will be noted and then divulged to the public when that time is ready right so track is i want to wait until this process is carried out and of course the information properly divulged to the public before i further comment now people are saying he tested positive because he had a virus track is and was taking some medication for said virus again track is i advise you all to refrain from such conjecture until the information is divulged to the public once this process is complete and of course track is no judgments as well no judgments in the comment section because we really do not know what happens based on what i know about ronald levy track is and seeing how he conducted himself in all these years i followed him loved watching him in the sport as well i definitely do not believe he knowingly breached the rules as well so i'm definitely with him 100 and i wish him all the best all right so track is sound off in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts the athlete that we've come to know love appreciate track is the one that has represented us on the highest level the global stage walked away with global medals track is ronald levy has indeed tested positive however in his words track is he would never do anything to seek an unfair advantage so track is i definitely stand behind him because based on what i've seen from him throughout the years he's always conducted himself with the highest level of integrity so let's let the process conclude before we have anything else to say on this topic and as usual like the video and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.